as a counterpoint to defunding the police or abolishing, abolishing the police is a call for training right mm -hmm. like and i i will not disagree that to be a police officer is way too easy uh, it's, it's way too easy it, it's, it's way too easy mm -hmm. but on top of that it's like i it, it kind of goes back to what i was talking about earlier where it's like what what kind of training are you going to give somebody you know what i mean like de-escalation sure like, you know but like there's so it, it's almost it's a call to me at least it's a call for reformation from the ground up because at this point i feel like and once again i'm speaking personally here i'm not trying to reflect the views of anyone else this right now is me speaking personally i feel like police to the black community is like a stain at this point like it's 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 never going to be at a point where it is redeemable at any point and whether or not they try to you know, whether they got to rebrand it or, or do something completely new, there is never going to be a point where black people will feel as if they are going to be safe in a community that is protected by police. And that is because the police have had too long of a time to try to get their shit together and they haven't gotten their shit together. Yeah, so at this true. point, it's like the system we got isn't working. We need a new system. And I don't really care if... The new system ends up not working super great either, but we already know this system does not work. Now, granted, people always say, okay, well, you know, de-escalation training. All right, I agree with that. Cops should have de-escalation training, but also cops already do. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you could say, well, maybe the quality of their training isn't that great and this and that and so on and so forth. But what it ends up coming down to is like this, this kind of like basic understanding of the fact that police like it's it's not that simple like you can't teaching someone to not be racist and to not be like so trigger happy is not something that you can just do with training you yeah. know it has to start from from the moment of inception where it's like all right we got this person who wants to be an officer we got to run x amount of checks on them this that do this training on top of everything else and there's no point we're not at a point now where we can start over the police but we can is i guess kind of like like but it won't be the police that that's the way i think about it right because right, at yeah. this point sure, it's sure. like you know it's what i mean like there's yeah. no saving them at this point right right it, it, it's definitely going to be something that's going to be a, a truly like a hard shift like you need to go down into it and fundamentally change it and uh, and this is the main thing for people too if you have done your history and due diligence you'll actually find out that uh even policing was originally built to help support against um keeping away the uh the unwanted right keeping away blacks and minorities and people like american policing was built with that in mind and mm -hmm. um, that's where this comes from. It, you know, it's these vestigial structures of that innate system that was built to protect um, racist ideologies and concepts. And so it's really important to understand that and to see why it's just going to be so hard to really do something unless you really go deep down, change what it change fundamentally what policing is. Um, so yeah, that's why people were talking about abolish police. Um, we, we understand that there needs to be some kind of protection going in our government, um, and but it needs to be built with that in mind, not built with that in, in terms of like an afterthought, which is pretty much what has what has happened. And it, we need to have some core circle change. I mean, even uh, the candidates they look for in policing. Uh -huh. uh, they look for specific people. A lot of times uh, there are a lot of contexts in where if you're, you score too high on certain exams and for policing, they will go past you. They want a certain type of mind that they feel is malleable to do what they need to do. Um, we already have people in high places within the police system that I, what I said before, have infiltrated and they come from white supremacy. 
and like yeah sing warriors there's literally like the idea of being too smart to be in the police like if you Facts. score at a certain ranking they literally will not hire you so it's this whole thing down where they are conditioning a certain response from these people they're conditioning a certain person to be in this space uh it's it, it is something that we really need to go and structurally change uh, we and and build from there. We really need to look at it. And I love so up. He's saying 100%. And someone is taking the test for the uh, police academy. Like they ask you, yeah, they ask you certain questions. Like they're looking, they are profiling for a particular type of individual for these kinds of things. And like those, that's what needs to be changed, right? And we need to hit the crux of that, the root of that, um, for that system to move forward. And yeah, I mean, there's a whole lot of things in our side in our world that we need to shift. Uh, uh, well, well, I'm sure there's a lot of people here that would agree with that. Uh, we got started somewhere, and uh, right now we're seeing a movement, and it is something that's progressing to a lot of core tenets that need to be changed. And let's move for it. Yes, and J Dog, I love that you brought that up. There is a romanticizing in American culture of the cowboys and Indians, right? And the. Uh, like, oh, I want to live this high octane lifestyle where I, for a living, go and get to enforce my authority over another human being, and it is socially acceptable. Right? <laughs> that's like what I do. It's like of toxic male it's, masculinity. Exactly. It's like I'm allowed to be like this toxic wild dude and do whatever the heck, and then just and be and just and that's all good. Like I'm able to do that, and I can just be like sick. I can just jam and push this person on the ground because I did it for a law. I did it for law and order, right? And nah, like that that needs to be rectified. If we're actually talking about caring and protecting and supporting people, then it needs to be better than that. No, 1,000%. One, 1, <laughs> like, they, they really, they really got to step it up. I, I think another thing that's like good to learn about if you're not familiar with it um, if you got Netflix, which I know at this point is like, I feel like at this point Netflix is kind of like a, <laughs> what's the word? It's like water. <laughs> I feel like I'm like oh. if you, so everybody got access to it at this point. Um, it's kind of like the internet in that way. Um, check out Hassan Minaj. Uh, he has like a like a talk show type deal uh, called the Patriot Act, and he has oh, an yes. episode where he talks specifically about the unionizing of police and why it is so difficult to get charges for officers it's definitely worth uh, taking a look at uh it's one of I, I like that entire like show in general i just kind of like like us on minaj but that's just me as a person but particularly if you do watch any episode of the patriot act i think that is the episode to watch because it makes everything make a lot more sense if you Absolutely. find yourself being like, why is it so hard to just get these murderers charged for murder? And the amount of like loops that police unions will go through to defend themselves and their officers is like, I don't even know how we break that down, but <laughs> this is a start. Yeah, yeah, you know, absolutely. It, it's and it's insane, man. And, and that's the thing, because it's like unions are ideally placed to protect workers, right? And that's the way it's faced. But the thing about it is. When you have these type of unions for the people who are supposed to have authority, who are the ones supposed to do charges, and there's no oversight over that, it becomes very, 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 very hard to do anything against these people because they're the ones who are supposed to be handling these things in the first place. So, like, it's just this crazy thing where it's like, if someone is your, like, the idea of, like, judge, jury, executioner, like, if you are all those things, how do you, like, oh, well, let me appeal to the judge to like stop this person from doing this but it's like you are all those things like it's you can't like you can't do anything like that that is that is a problem like the the police union is insane like so yeah i'm so glad that you talked about that it, it's absolutely like nonsense like it, it's the idea that people hear it all the time like who watches the watchmen right Right. Who police is the police. Um, so Vonis did like, you know, play a little skit on that too, where he's talking about the police, 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 right? Uh, the, the truth of the matter is, we do need to have a police, police. We do need to have a proper oversight. However, there is no proper oversight. And it's like they are able to watch themselves and they only hold accountable to themselves. And if it's like, hey, 
you're like me, we're a cop, you're a cop, I'm a cop. You did that, I've done some stuff, you know, whatever. And then add it in the mix where people are purposely getting these positions to do these types of things, you're not going to stop them. You, you need to have actual lawful accountability, right? It needs to be a proper structure. You need to put the proper people in place who will actually implement it instead of pushing it to the side. Uh, it, it's just it's just ridiculous. Yeah, they don't even yeah they don't even have to know the laws they enforce. Yeah, they can just run around, like run around, and do what you do. Bro, that that's what gets me too, right? Like so, because the police are supposed to enforce the law, right? Supposed to. Um, now, the, the funny thing to me is that uh, f fundamental understanding of what law is, right? Because in theory, oh wow, that was that sucks. <laughs> in theory, uh, a cop is supposed to. Or rather, laws are supposed to be kind of like governing rules of the people, right? These are what we follow. Um, but one, if you've like lived at all, you understand that one, doing something illegal is like, depending on what that thing is, not really a big deal, right? Like I'm sure everyone has pirated music at some point, or like, you know, there are very simple laws that one can break and the enforcing of those laws is kind of the the big thing right like how do we get caught how do we hold people accountable for breaking the law here um and what happened i guess is that yeah i don't know i i can see it but you can it looks like you left the stream yeah i can see it um but yeah like what 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 does that mean what what is the law is the law just is the law fair a lot of people kind of say oh they were breaking the law that's why they got what they deserved but don't make the extra effort to go does that law make sense <laughs> maybe that law doesn't make sense and maybe we shouldn't have that law to begin with and maybe it shouldn't just be like oh that person broke the law but maybe we need to reevaluate that law or alternatively there was a recent law uh, that came out that i think uh, maybe it was today it was something along the lines of uh, like a job can't fire you for, I don't know if it was for like being transgender or having, I forget what it was. I saw it like briefly on my timeline and I was like, it's like cool, but it's like the kind of thing where it's like, okay, just because the law says that a job can't do this to you doesn't mean the job isn't just going to still do it to you anyway, because who's going to hold your job accountable for that? It's like a lot of, a lot of scenarios like that, where it's just because the law says one thing like we got state and federal law one says weed is legal one says it's not you know like who who who's enforcing the rules here it's 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 tough because you need the rules to be enforced but you need the rules to be fair and the only way you can like try to ensure that the rules are fair are by voting at the local level and having that work the way up so but damn we uh yeah. We're kind of getting into it. We, we lose our semis. I uh, see we at, uh, you know, $6,100 and some change. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm still trying to see us, you know, hit some more milestones. I mean, 6100 def not bad. I'm proud of y'all. I'm proud of y'all. If we can hit 6500 I'd be cool by that. If we could hit 7 k by Grand Finals or, like, by the end of Grand Finals, I'd, I'd call that oh, a yeah. day and a half, man. That, that's... Yeah. I need that. Ran out of PK Thunder Juice. <laughs> like, you about to hit it? There we go, man. Luis, you doing all right this time around? Because of the other two rounds, Best Nest was kind of giving him the tough, tough love, but. Oh, yeah, he's definitely going in. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Let me check this out here. Let's see if I got it. Man, bro. Looking at some of these, some of these final, like, words of, of, of black people before they die, man. It breaks my heart every single time. Please don't let me die. I can't breathe. You promised you wouldn't kill me. I don't want to die young. I wasn't reaching for it. Like, bro, like, what? There's, like, such a lack of empathy that like like kills me whenever 
another black person gets murdered by police. Like, it's just like, if you see someone on the floor and they're like running out of air, you're like, oh man, maybe I should like let them breathe. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, right? if it's me, I'm like not even going to be in that scenario, but let's just say, let's just say we were, right? And you see that and you're like, bro, like his face turning kind of blue. Um, I don't, I don't think that's a good thing. I think yeah. I should probably like get off now, but to like be so vile, you know, like so devoid of empathy that you just like, uh, he's fine. That's crazy. There was even a study that said that like uh, 50 or 55 percent of white people thought that uh, black people can endure more pain. <laughs> like the heck? <laughs> yeah. Like where did that even come from? Right? Like it's yeah. It's so. <laughs> it is. I'm like, what is happening? Like what world are we living in? A black lady calls 911. Uh, because she's dying and they think she's overreacting <laughs> yep. and then she dies <laughs> it's like bro. yeah yeah no yeah uh, absolutely like i mean and, and the thing I, I love too is like when some people were like oh well the people ah those people shouldn't lose their jobs that's a bad like they didn't do it they weren't the thing you know and i i love the quote um if you guys know the philosopher uh he's from australia He's a moral philosopher, and it's Peter Singer, right? And he talks about the idea of the, the drowning, right? The drowning child. And he talks about where if someone is in, if there's a child drowning in a, a pool of water, right? Someone like, so there's like a, a, a criminal, right? Criminal pushes the, the child in the water. And the child is drowning and there's someone who walks by they have the authority they have the power to save the child there's a great swimmer and it's a, it, like it can be inconv inconvenient for them and they just literally go ahead and do not do anything about it and they just walk by that person is just as much fault as a person who actually pushed them into the pond right where when you can do something about it feasibly and it's not some great inconvenience to you and you choose to watch it happen like, that is a problem, right? So, just the same as someone who put their knee on his neck, as someone who's also a police officer that's standing there watching this happen and sitting back and not caring. So, we always got to look at those things, too. Why? Like, really just going to let him do that? Yeah. It, 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 what, what blows my mind about that video is, like, not only does does no one do anything right like on top of that like there's not even one dude who's like hey yo bro i don't think this is a good idea yeah. <laughs> like yeah. i don't even get that line yeah. of dialogue yeah you know yeah I mean? not like, even like, like hey man maybe you should and it's crazy is that there's literally people there in the video like telling them hey this dude can't breathe like people are actually watching like bro like you uh like you know, so you know like, <laughs> like that doesn't seem like it makes sense like, and I, I love uh fire to pyro like shout out to you by the way uh taking part in all this conversation uh seeing you in here for a bit now but he's saying, like, I want to say really quick that I've been taking history since March, and the week we got to civil rights was the same week the protest started. Some of the course material was documentaries featuring the protests, and I had to pause the docs to take in and realize that protesters are being treated the same way they were treated 60 years ago. That shit is fucking awful to realize. And yes, 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 and more yes. It's crazy when people start citing MLK and they don't realize if he was alive today, you would be saying the same crap about him. You'd say he's Antifa, he needs to be shot, he shouldn't exist, he is terrible, he's a revolutionist, he's he's all he cares about is red, he's socialism, blah, 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 blah. The same things they would be saying today, right? And if people... It's so sad because there's so many, so many people talking all this stuff, and I can't even imagine that's 20 years from now, 30 years from now, provided we see true change. These people are going to look their children in the eye, and they're probably going to end up lying to their children about what they did in that moment. When they realized it was the exact same thing they read about in these history books, that they swore on their lives that, you know what? <laughs> If I was in the civil rights movement today, I would have fought for that stuff too. 
That's terrible. Can't people see it's terrible? Why were these people so dense? I can't believe these people <laughs> were doing this. Lynching, doing this, killing people. You know, how could they not realize this is terrible? I would never do that. Well, here we are. Here's the moment. You know, this is what you can do. You can do something now. Are you going to continue to make excuses? All right. And so it's people love, love that. Like the history is there. The data was there. The people are there. And people love the say, oh, well, you know, I wouldn't let that happen. You know, that's that that stuff now in hindsight.